Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to have Logic send temple data to your Line 6 Helix device. Let's go. Okay, so if you're anything like me, you probably use YouTube whenever you want to learn something new. I mean, why would you read a manual when you can just watch a video of somebody else explaining it for you, right? I couldn't find a video that would simplify this process enough for me because I'm not the most techie person there is. So I decided to just make my own video and hopefully this will help people be able to do this. Uh, I'm actually just following the step-by-step -step guide from afteraudio.com and I'll leave that in the description below if you want to check it out yourself. But enough talking, let's go into my logic. Okay guys, so this is actually very easy to do. All that you have to do is hit um, view customize control bar and display okay from here we're going to go and click on sync okay and what that's going to do is going to bring up this um this little symbol right here okay see it click away then we're going to click here right click sorry and we're going to go to synchronization settings obviously we're going to do midi so hit on the midi tab and okay so yours may not look like this right from the get-go so what you're gonna have to do is click on any of the destinations right click on your helix right and then hit uh, check this little clock thing right here okay so one more time off helix and then check i don't have my helix connected so sorry i didn't really think about it um after that, make sure that you have your clock mode on pattern, quantized clock stars based on pattern length. It's the very first one that you see. And after that, you're pretty much all done. And then after you do that, um, your Line 6 Helix device, um, the tuner or tempo um, switch will light up green instead of um, red, which I didn't even know it could do that. But that's it. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, again, I got this all from afteraudio.com, so the, the, I'll put the link in the description below, and hopefully this video helped you. Till next time, guys.